Welcome again guys, so we stop right here, we have our ball moving and restarting its position. Now we want to start creating the petals. To do this, let's start by creating the position variables of our petals. We can start with the left petal, so petal left x, um, dw, and for the value we can define it as being 0, a, h, or 10 in, ex in decimal. For the y position, we can go with the same value for test purposes. And now let's define the dimensions, the width for the two pedals. So dw, pedal width, dw, and maybe 5. For the height, we can go with 15 or 0fh. This is only to test. Down here, when you're moving and drawing the ball, we now want to draw the two petals as well. So let's call uh, draw petals. The procedure that will draw our two, our left and right petal. Let's create this procedure. Let's go down here below the draw ball procedure and draw petals. Proc near, draw petals, and P. Don't forget the, the red command. And now let's copy the code from the draw ball procedure. So we start by setting the column and line. Let's change ball to the petal left. The code will be the same, but this time we'll be doing to the left and right petals instead of the ball. So it's just a question of editing the code. So let's create a label. Draw petal left horizontal, the same. Continues to be the same. Let's copy this. Let's copy this too. The code is exactly the same. We just need to change where it says ball to pedal, pedal left in this case. Pedal left, pedal width. Here is pedal left X, and here will be pedal width. Now we call this label. Now we advance to the next section. Let's copy this. If you don't understand um, this code, uh, this code will be explained in the um, in the um, in the video where we are drawing the ball. Here we just copying and pasting, but this code is better explained on this on that video. The ball size will be pedal 8. Let's call again this label. 
So, uh, it's done. It's just a question of doing the same for the right barrel. But for now, let's run our game. And we can see that a pedal appears now on the left side of the screen. Uh, let's change maybe the height to an higher value. We have um, 0 F H 15. Let's go with 1 F H. And let's see our pedal. Yeah, <laughs> that's our pedal. So, uh, I guess it's good. You can play with these values. So, now we just need to do exactly the same for the right pedal. Let's copy the position variables. And let's change this to right. The X position instead of 10 could be maybe uh i don't know we can we can go with uh, one uh, maybe not one three zero maybe let's go with this value and see how it goes and now let's go down here again and now we copy the code and change it for the right barrel it's exactly the same. Instead of left, we'll be doing this to the right. Let's make these changes. Let's just copy and paste. Should be fine. Okay, so let's change the comments too. Down here, pedal right. Let's, I guess it's all done. Let's save and let's run our game. And Let's run, and if we run our game, we have now two battles in our game. In the next couple of videos, we'll learn now how to move the paddles with the keyboard, and now we can make the ball collide with them. For now, try changing the width and the height as well as the positions of the paddles as you wish. Make this game your own.